NYU Abu Dhabi's vision is first of all to um, ensure that NYU Abu Dhabi as a campus is one of the most sustainable campuses in the world. And uh, there are many ways in which the university is um, targeting, if you will, to achieve this very broad but very strategic target. One of which is, uh, first of all, by preparing uh, uh, the leaders of tomorrow, yeah? And where Abu Dhabi offers a range of sustainability-related courses, um, just to name a few, uh, for example, water energy and food nexus, sustainable development, green mobility in cities, and many others really that enable students to become leaders of tomorrow, tomorrow and really truly be at the forefront uh, of addressing the climate crisis. Our role is to uh, advocate for the university to be more ambitious in implementing sustainability goals, and that entails uh, bringing more climate education to uh, curriculum and also improving campus culture to make people more aware about um, sustainability issues and uh, trying to help administration to improve operations of the university to reduce our environmental footprint. So for example, help with recycling, producing food waste or saving water and energy. It's really about keeping that space where people can come, have these conversations, create those events. In Ecoherence, we focus on more of the little things that you can uh, incorporate within your life as a student on campus. Um, for example, thrifting instead of supporting fast fashion or like simply reducing your plastic waste. So it just makes sustainability, I think, simpler and accessible to everyone in the community. I think an important uh, win was succeeding in removing half a liter plastic water bottles on campus. Uh, however, there is still a long way to go in um, having encouraging students to use tap water instead of bottled water. I think that one of the challenges that we are facing in community like NYUED is the fact that it's very multicultural and some of our habits um, that are normal in some cultures may not be considered so environmentally friendly in others. And so we are trying to have conversations with all students from all parts of the world in our community to nurture this common sense of care for our planet. Being in a space like NYUAD really like gives us the opportunity to have our voice heard and to like, um, I think, practice our leadership skills within the, the sphere. Like me and Benji actually started um, a project last semester uh, called the Higher Education Climate Dialogues. And, and I thought that was a really, really nice way to see how we could be leaders in sustainability, like as our generation. There we discussed both uh, academics and uh, campus operations and campus culture. And I think we did it quite successfully with over 100 participants from several universities. And the initiative also involved representatives from the Ministry of Climate Change, the International Renewable Energy Agency and other regional stakeholders. So I think that's one of the ways in we as students are trying to play our role. Of course, one of the many other ways to achieve that vision is through research. Um, researchers at NYU Abu Dhabi are investigating the future of our planet and taking a multidisciplinary approach uh, to solving some of humanity's greatest challenges. We have so many different labs and research centers that they're doing amazing and pioneering work. And just to name some, the Advanced Building Materials Research Lab, for example, known as the Amber Lab, uh, and the remarkable work that the research team is doing to develop more sustainable building materials that can capture carbon dioxide uh, is one of, uh, is, is a great example. The UA Pavilion at the, v uh, at the Venice Architecture Biennale has won recently the Golden Lion. The Golden Lion is, uh, of the Venice Architecture Biennale is one of the biggest prizes in architecture. The work of our Amber Lab was essentially producing the sustainable biobricks they used in this particular pavilion. Of course, there are many other labs as well uh, that they're doing really pioneering work. The Center for Prototype Climate Change Modeling, the Center for Global Sea Level Change, the Water Research Center, the Marine Biology Lab, the Earth Humanities Research Initiative, the Plastics Lab, uh, are among many other research centers labs that they are doing some amazing work to address uh, uh, the climate change and also to advance sustainability efforts on campus uh, uh, as a whole. One of the uh, growth engine of the economy is construction industry, especially in this region. 
and we cannot stop this construction. So we need to find a way to make it much more sustainable. And as we live in the water scarce region, we have been using a significant number of desalination plants. And after water desalinated, we have a reject brine accumulated as a byproduct. And the current practice is returning back to this waste product to the uh, sea, which is adversely affect the marine uh, environment. So our goal is to utilize this uh, waste as a source of uh, production of the construction materials, or we call we can call it as alternative cement. And as we know, the conventional cement has eight per, uh, responsible for the eight percent of the CO2 emissions uh, made by human. We use this reject brine from the desalination plants uh, that contains high concentration of salt and then make a, a binding agent that can be used to produce concrete. And we even manage to push the boundary further as our magnesium-based binder also requires the carbonation for strength development uh, uh, of the structure of the material, thus permanently sequestering the CO2 in its microstructure. So National Pavilion of UAE team uh, approached us uh, to assist uh, with the project. And as I explained, reject brain is a byproduct of the desalination uh, and has lots of useful minerals. We uh, utilize this uh, source uh, as a, a construction materials and we contributed to uh, National Pavilion of the UAE. In alignment with NYU, it is uh, NYU's broader vision regarding university-wide commitment. NYU is also committed to achieving reductions in greenhouse gas emissions and in this regard will develop its own climate action plan that will set clear emission reduction strategies and targets moving forward. The climate action plan will play a pivotal role in realizing the vision of our Vice Chancellor in transforming NYU Abu Dhabi into one of the most sustainable campuses in the world, which is the vision, as I mentioned in the beginning.